Hello and welcome to my tarot corner and uh, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. It was kind of a hectic day. I had a lot to do and last night we went to demonstrate once again and this time I took a short video that I will try to uh, uh, put uh, at, the la at the end of this video just to let you uh, get uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, atmosphere uh, in this these demonstrations. It's been eleven weeks that we've been demonstrating, and nothing really happens, and we are very very worried regarding our democracy. And uh, you, this video uh, I took while sitting in my wheelchair, so it's all uh, a little bit uh, from <laughs> uh, my point of view, so you cannot see the, uh, the, the bigger picture, but I think that you can get the atmosphere, so I will try to Stick, the, stick it in the end of this video. Uh, I just want to give uh, some, uh, some clarification to people that uh, just came to the uh, channel in the past uh, month. Um, you can find all the information about the video in the description box. I put there all the information regarding videos that I'm uh, referring to, if I am, and uh, the information regarding the decks that I'm using. And usually if I'm getting the decks in special places that are not Amazon or eBay, then I am telling you. But most of the decks I'm getting either on Amazon or on eBay. And sometimes I'm finding decks on Etsy, sometimes on Book Depository, but most of them are on eBay on, or on Amazon. And I am a big advocate of getting secondhand decks uh, and not buying new ones, uh, which is also recycle, recycling things and also getting them cheaper but sometimes there are decks that uh, are very difficult to find uh, because they are out of print for example this deck is not very easy to find uh, this is the wheel of fortune tarot and i just i got it second hand on ebay because uh, i couldn't find it uh, first uh, i couldn't find it um, 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 well, um, new because it's out of print, uh, but there is a, well, the, the, well, it is very important to know how to um, differentiate between uh, the real thing and uh, fakes because uh, the fake decks are the ones that you. Uh, find usually either on Amazon or on eBay on very cheap prices and if they say that there is a PDF um, guide for the deck then you know it's a fake okay so uh, why am I using the Wheel of Fortune tarot and today I'm also going back to something that I haven't done for a while, and it is taking a significant card from the pocket symbolon uh, oracle. Uh, I am doing a reading regarding uh, Harry and his multiple court cases. So I'm going to do a reading regarding all of his court cases and not just one. And I'm, I, don't, I want to take a, one card that is a significant card from the Symbolon uh, Oracle that will give me an overview of Harry in those 
cold cases. And then I'm going to use a spread that is usually used for one court case, but because all of those court cases are against the mainstream media, I'm just going to use them as, uh, to use this spread as a spread again, uh, of Harry against all of the, uh, against the media as a whole. And going to look into what is he going to, what is he trying to really uh, get from this? What are his real meanings? What is the underlying, uh, um, underlying uh, energies here? What is he aware of or isn't he aware of? And what can we see as the spiritual lesson that will come out of all of this? So before I start, please take a few a few moments to go into my um, into my uh, descri <laughs> description box and read my full disclaimer, which is a, this is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourself. So let's start with this significator card and see how can we see Harry as a whole uh, in those court cases. So I'm clearing the deck. And Harry in the court cases against the mainstream media. Harry in his court cases against the mainstream media. Okay, so now in this deck, it will take me some time to find the meaning because here the book is, um, is it's not, the, the cards don't have name. It's only uh, looking at the, uh, and the picture that is on the on the that we see so this is the picture and i will have to look it up okay so this is a card that symbolizes family and this is about security and about needs so much more comfort as a form of security and it is a uh, what it says is uh, that all in all, this card indicates the time for evasiveness, the time of maybe, the time of two-ness wanting unity. So uh, I would say that this card symbolizes that Harry does this for his family. Part of it is because he uh, is drived for it be, uh, by his uh, wife. So his wife is the, the driving force for all of these uh, court cases. And part of it is because he it, it's uh, his uh, wish for security because we know that, uh, well, part of his court cases are against the home office and in search for security. So, uh, despite what I said that uh, some uh, that most of his uh, court cases are against the, the media, uh, well, some of the ca cases are against the home office as well. So the security did enter in this significant significator card. So uh, this is his strife for security, uh, and it's all coming into light for, in this family card, and he's. This is uh, to symbolize that he is doing all of this for his family. So he is convinced that uh, all of this is because of his family and his wife is probably the driving force for all of this. And this is why she's here and she is, uh, she's like the one who's giving him the stamina or the, the one who gives him uh, the orders of what to do. 
And okay, so um, now let's start by clearing this deck. Okay, so Harry Let's start again. Harry court cases against the home office and against the media. How does he really feel? What are the underlying energies here? How does his opponents see him and how do they feel towards him? And what will be the spiritual lesson here? Harry's court cases against the home office and the media. How does he feel? What is he aware of? What isn't he aware of? What are his opponents see in him? What are they unaware of? And what will be the spiritual lesson here? Okay, so the first card is a card that will show us Harry. And he is the Three of Pentacles. So first of all, the Three of Pentacles is a card of cooperation and reward. And we know that uh, in these... Uh, well, he's not going to those, uh, to all of those uh, court cases alone. At least in one court case, he's cooperating with other people like Elton John and others that are cooperating with him in the court case uh, regarding the phone taps. So he feels that he is getting the cooperation that he needs. Uh, he thinks that he's getting the rewards that he f uh, that he uh, deserves. This is how he feels. He feels that he is ha that he has the cooperation of the lawyers. Uh, that he will be getting the reward. But this is only a uh, beginning of, or, or just the the first um, success. Uh, in the suit of pentacles. And as I always uh, tell you, there are three cycles in every suit. The first cycle starts with the ace and ends with the three. And then we have the th second cycle that starts with the four and ends with the six. And then we have this third cycle that starts with a seven and ends with a 10. So this is the, the, just the first success. So he is just feeling the beginning of, uh, or, or he, but he's very sure of himself because he won at least one a uh, one decision where uh, one of the uh, uh, judges did say that uh, one of the um, uh, in one of the cases that uh, uh, an article that was uh, that was uh, uh, that was um, published about him uh, about his case uh, was defamatory so he feels very sure of himself he feels that he has the cooperation that he needs he feels that he will get the rewards that he will that he um, deserves and he doesn't feel that he has something to worry about so this is him feeling very much uh, reassured and he feels that he has everything that he needs to go forward. So Harry is very confident. How are the other side feeling? And this is about the, the, the media and the home office and all of them. And they actually feel a lot better because this is the six of pentacles and this is upside down. So I'm just going to Turn it around. So the Six of Pentacles is a, a card of getting what you deserve. So if you give, then you get. And both the home office and the media, all of Harry's opponents, all of the ones that are 
fighting against Harry feel that they will get what they deserve. And because they feel that they are giving quite a, a lot, then they will get what they deserve. So the Six of Pentacles is actually a, a much stronger card than the Three of Pentacles. And this is the second uh, the second um, success in the suit of pentacles, uh, as I said before, it's, it starts from the four and ends with the six. And this is a, a much greater success. So they are even more confident than Harry in their, uh, in the um, strong, in their, um, in the strong, in their strong case in, or the, that they have. So they feel that they deserve uh, to win their cases because they have good cases, because this is about, we have a good case, so we deserve to win. We, we, we can give evidence uh, to the judge in order to deserve a win. So the main, the opponents, Harry's opponents, don't feel bad about this court case. Okay, so the issues in hand, and this is because we are talking about multiple cases, so I am expecting to get something ambiguous here, and the issues is the Hierophant, and this is ambiguous because the Hierophant is about doing the right thing. And this is the issue. The issue here is about doing the right thing. So Harry is uh, here uh, suing the home office or the king or the head of the Church of England because that is the Hierophant, that is the king or his father or the country for security. He's suing the, uh, the newspapers because he believes that they are not doing the right thing. And the, the, the other side, that is the home office, that is the, uh, the, the mainstream media, they, are, they believe that they are doing the right thing. So this whole matter is about who is right, who is doing the right thing, who is here uh, in the right? Who is the hierophant here? Who is the one who is doing the right thing? So this is a very ambiguous because we are talking about several uh, court cases and they are all about who is in the right, who is the, doing the right thing, who is uh, correct here. Okay, so what is uh, Harry aware that about the other side. What is he aware about the other side? And we have here the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is about a, a lot of money. This is the Ace of getting what you want. This is about getting uh, what you need. This is about getting your needs met in the material world. So Harry knows that the other side have a lot of money. This is what he knows about the other side. He knows that they have deep pockets, that they can finance a lot of, a, a long and a very expensive court cases. So he knows that. So he knows that he's dealing with, a, with opponents that uh, can well uh, can go uh, to long court cases against him and uh, he knows that they have the ability they have the ability to get their pentacles they to get their needs met in the material world so they have the money they have what they need they can f afford this what uh, isn't he aware about his opponents, and we get the Nine of, of Swords. So in the Nine of Swords is worry and justified worry. So here we see Harry very, very worried because he isn't aware of all of the things that he needs to be worried about. Uh, he isn't aware of all of the swords that they have against him. 
he isn't aware of all of the things that they have that they can use against him. So this card is showing us that he doesn't know all of the things that he needs to be worried about. This is a card that speaks about a, well, a lot of, a, this is about being very, very this is about the, uh, being very worried because you have done a lot of, uh, a lot of mistakes. You made a lot of mistakes and you know that there is no way out and uh, he isn't aware of that. This is an underlying energy and he is just doesn't know how many things and how many, uh, how many um, things, well, at least how many things the uh, other side have against him. He doesn't know um, how many mistakes he has made that the other side can use against him. So right now he's not worried. He's not worried because he's unaware of this. So this card stays in his in the subconscious because he's not aware of that. This is something that he's not aware, of, and this is why he is in this three of pentacles energy because he's unaware of this nine of swords. He should know that he he should know that he needs to be worried, but he doesn't because he's unaware of all of those things that the, the, his opponents have against him. Okay, what do the opponents know about Harry? And they know that he is a king of wands in a way, so that is someone who knows how to start things, that's the initiator, but cannot take things all the way through. So that's someone who is very good in new beginnings, but not very good in taking things all the way. So that is part of the reasons why Harry is always trying to get summary judgments, because he doesn't want those... Um, uh, those court cases to go to trial. He doesn't want to be uh, to be called as a witness. He doesn't want those the court case to go all the way uh, as a court case usually does. So they know that about him because this is a recurring uh, a pattern with Harry. We see that with him all the time. He they did that in their court case. Again, the mail against the mail of Sunday. He did that with the with the Home Office. He they did that with Samantha Markle. So this is a recurring event. They are beginning something, but then they are asking for a summary judgment because they cannot take this court case all the way with a, a real court case with a real uh, having a real court. Um, um, uh, how do you say that? Uh, well, having a real court case in, 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 in a real trial, with, with having a real trial. Okay, so what aren't they aware of, Harry? And we are getting the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of someone who is enjoying the road. So this is someone who is going on this victory quest but enjoys the road and this is something that the mainstream media and the home office are unaware of harry he actually enjoys this he actually enjoys this he really relishes in all of this uh, this is twisted this he thinks that he's going on a victory quest and he actually enjoys every minute of it. It's really twisted. It really is twisted. But he enjoys reading about it in the papers. He enjoys tormenting the country, tormenting the newspapers. He enjoys every minute of it. He enjoys having the country uh, pour out money against uh, because of those court, uh, court cases. He enjoys every minute of this. And this is something that the other side is not aware of. And they really think that uh, by 
uh, threatening to call him to the stand and th stuff like that. They are uh, maybe uh, maybe making him uh, afraid or um, threatening him in a way. No, they're not because he is unaware that he needs to be worried and he, he has, enjoys every minute of it. And uh, this is something that they don't think of because they think that he, that he does it out of, a, a, well, a, because he has no choice or just because his wife is driving him to do that. But it's not only that. He actually enjoys that. He enjoys tormenting the other people. He really enjoys that. So he has this twisted, twisted part of his character of enjoying seeing other people suffer. Okay, so is it a good time for Harry to make to to claim all of those claims to go all of to to make all of those lawsuits and we are getting the sun so the sun is a great card it is a card of happiness of wellness so yeah it is a good time for him to uh, make all of those claims and go to all of those lawsuits uh, whether it means that he, he will win or not it doesn't say uh, but it is a good time for him so maybe he will get some kind of victories so, but it, this, this is a great card, so it is a good time for him to file this claim, to, to go to those uh, uh, lawsuits. So, yeah, it is a good time. So, what is the spiritual lesson that uh, he can learn, that the home office can learn, the spiritual lesson for all of us? And we are getting here the Nine of Cups, and it came in the reverse. And uh, this, and I made sure that the car, the deck that was uh, in the upright, and it came in the reverse. So I have to uh, read it in the reverse. Although the Nine of Cups is a get very good card because it's a card of wishes coming true. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of getting what you want. It's a, a card of happiness. But when it is a card, when it is in the reverse. It shows um, over perfectionism, the need to prove ourselves. It shows restlessness as it shows a, a person or people that are expecting success without doing anything for, for it. So this could be a lesson for Harry because Harry does expect success to come to him without doing anything for it. Uh, I don't think that this is true for uh, the home office or for the media. Uh, I think that they do know uh, that success does come after you work hard. But Harry does expect success to come without doing anything for it. Harry is over materialistic. Harry is restless. So I think that this lesson here is for Harry. So even though it is a good time for him to sue, uh, this could mean that he will get a minor success. So maybe that is why we get uh, the uh, three of pentacles, but he's in for surprises and not very good surprises. So in a whole, I don't see this going his way. And once again, uh, the, the, his opponents do have a lot more to uh, rely on, but he does have things to rely on. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in this four of wands energy. He has things that he is rely on, relying on. That is why he's enjoying the road. So his lawyers are giving him enough substance to believe that he's on his way for a victory. Uh, this is. The Four of Wands is going out on a victory quest, but enjoying the road. So he's enjoying this because he knows that uh, the victory is looming, that he's going towards the Six of Wands. Okay, so just 
uh, I'm just looking here and I see that there are, oh no, there are swords here. So we have swords, we have wands, we have cups, we have pentacles. Um, and we have court cards, we have uh, uh, major arcanas. Okay, so this is the tarot. And I think that all in all, we see here that uh, although it looks like you will get some successes at the beginning, uh, because the, the subject is about who is in the right, who is doing the right thing, thing altogether i think that the nine of swords here is very very um prominent and it will come out uh, but it will take time it will probably won't be at the beginning of this lawsuits okay so this is the tarot and the oracle is the lonely soul oracle so let's see what does the oracle say about harry's lawsuits Okay, so Harry's lawsuits, Harry's lawsuits. Twilight debutante. Let's see what it means. Okay, so this card message is that Harry should ask himself, what message is he ignoring? And what direction does he feel pulled in? Uh, because this is a card that shows that um, his instincts uh, will serve him well when he learns to fully trust them. And he might have all sorts of uh, flushes of insights, but if he uh, discards them and if he uh, doesn't trust his instincts, then he uh, might not uh, shift his path to the right way. So he needs to understand that he has a lot of messages that in his life that he's ignoring and if he is ignoring them then he is being pulled to the wrong directions so this is what the oracle has to say about his lawsuits okay so this is it for this reading i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment and i'll see you in the next one and just uh, now i'm going to add a short video of a few seconds uh, of the demonstrations uh, last night. Bye. Tonight in a demonstration, I am in a wheelchair. And this is a demonstration in Israel. I'll try and get my husband to take a, take a photograph of me as well.